This is Nick Ahmed from the Giants, and you're listening to Jim on Base. Welcome back to another episode of the Jim on Base show. We're here at spring training with the great Nick Ahmed. And Nick, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, excited to be here. Thanks. And you kind of came in with a bang, right? You got your first home run as a Giant yesterday. And I met your family. They're all excited outside. You had the kids decked out in Giants gear. So kind of a good couple days here. Yeah, it's been a good start. I think this is uh, day six for me now here in Giants camp and starting to settle in and got to meet everybody and uh, players and staff. Everybody's been great. Uh, very welcoming. Uh, guys are getting after it in camp, which is good to see. And uh, we got our first win yesterday too, which is good. And one thing I relate to you a little bit. Uh, I heard you've had some a shoulder surgery in the past. I've had three uh, labrum repairs. So, yeah, okay. So I'm wondering, does has it taken you a few years to kind of bounce back? Because I'm still not quite the same. But. Yeah, mine uh, was in June of 2022. Uh, had the surgery, so I was back playing last spring training, but I wasn't, you know, fully back to what I was used to at least uh, with the arm strength and everything so it took till honestly like toward the end of last season and then this off season again rebuilding arm strength and you know going through a rehab program again to uh, get to a really good spot but uh, my arm feels great now I feel really strong and uh, can go in the hole and make the throws I'm used to making which is good yeah does cupping come into play because that's been saving me on the shoulders yeah I've done some of that yeah I've got some good therapists and, and people taking care of me yeah and I know uh, you've won a couple gold gloves, so just out of curiosity, when it comes to memorabilia from your career, do you display it anywhere, or are they in boxes somewhere? Uh, they're mostly in boxes. I think um, our house back in Massachusetts, where we're from, my wife put one of them out, but I think all the rest of my you know, jerseys and trophies and stuff, they're all packed up in boxes, yeah. Maybe one day you'll have the good man cave set up, right? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. And uh, when it comes to sports, you said you're from Massachusetts, so do you have like a favorite jersey that you wore as a kid of a favorite player or team? Yeah, I was a huge Red Sox fan growing up. Uh, grew up like an hour and a half from Fenway Park, and my dad would take uh, me and my two brothers to games every summer, which was awesome, just getting to go to Fenway and, and root on the Red Sox there. And I played shortstop, so I was a huge Nomar Garcia Parra fan. Uh, loved watching him, and, and just him and Jeter battle it out for all those years. And uh, two incredible, athletic, really talented shortstops to watch as a kid it was awesome. That's, those are good names right there. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite sports movie? Like when it comes on, you like to watch it? Or yeah, I got a bunch. So um, you know, all those movies from the '90s that I kind of grew up on: uh, Sandlot, Rookie of the Year, Mighty Ducks. Uh, I just started to take my kids through those last year. My kids love them, so it's awesome. Like I can put them on, I can enjoy it, and my kids are starting to enjoy it now too. And when uh, you think about, if you had a podcast, what would you want to talk about? And is there a good co-host, uh, teammate you've had through the years that would maybe be a good co-host? Yeah, uh, so my brother and I are actually working on something right now. It's called Seven Pillar Health and Performance. Uh, we're just basically trying to teach and educate and empower uh, the next generation of athletes to really take ownership of their health and their performance in all areas. And not just make it about on-field stuff, but make it about all the stuff that helps you on-field as well. And um, we're probably going to do a podcast at some point in the next year or two. And, uh, yeah, my brother played professionally uh, minor league ball for seven years. He's coaching now with the Twins organization. So uh, he and I are going to do something soon together. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to put a link uh, for the company in the bio. I saw some stuff on your Instagram. So a lot of guys have good stories when it comes to, like, call-up stories or maybe your debut, uh, talking about the nerves or what happened. Uh, what kind of sticks out for you? Yeah, so I was in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We just finished, I think it was a Saturday night game. Uh, get called into the manager, manager's office. It was Phil Nevin. Uh, love playing for that guy, manager for the Angels the last couple years. And he just called me in and said, hey, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> I said, I'll go back to the hotel. We're in Albuquerque. we got a day game tomorrow. He goes, all right, nice game. We'll keep your phone on. So I was like, all right. I knew I'd been you know, playing well in AAA and kind of sounded a little fishy, but he didn't say anything official. Uh, so we went back to the hotel. Some of us got some food in the lobby, and uh, he came back in the hotel like 11.30 and told me with all the guys there. So uh, it was a fun way to celebrate with my teammates there. For in-season stuff, uh, do you like keeping the same hat? Like, do you dirty it up? Do you get superstitious at all or no? No, uh, I mean, if it starts to smell or get too dirty, I'll get a new one. Uh, I'm not superstitious in any way. Uh, if I'm relying on my hat or my socks or cleats to, like, feel like I'm going to perform because of that I'm in big trouble mentally so uh yeah I'm not I'm not superstitious like that in any way and when you hit the first home run you got a lot of new guys in, in the clubhouse here is it kind of hard to learn all the handshakes by the time spring training ends or 
Yeah, I don't know if those have started yet. I mean, maybe the guys that were here and played together last year still have them. But, um, you know, once the season starts, I think the guys will get those going for sure. Last question here. What do you like to do away from baseball? Who are you kind of away when you're not busy being a dad and a husband? Yeah, so I got two boys and a little girl. My two boys have started playing baseball. So uh, I'll go help out and coach their, their team and just help them out at practice and games. Uh, we like fishing too. Um, just trying to get my kids into that. They like doing it. And uh, we got a little pond nearby the house that we go and uh, catch some small perch and pumpkin seeds and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, anything like that, just outdoors, doing something fun with my family. Yeah. Well, Nick, thanks for coming on the show. It's nice to meet you. And I'll be rooting you on the rest of the season. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan.